Good morning. So I promised a new video about my entrepreneurial journey and how you can take your own or at least start your own. So this is what we're about to do today. I'm going to tell you a little bit about the backstory of Fun Spaces, but also share three things that you can do to get going. After I earned an MBA from UNC, I went into um, business consulting and business plan writing and really supporting entrepreneurs as they grew their businesses or wanted to reduce expenses or serve their people, their customers better. When I went to business school, that's kind of what I wanted to do. And so I was glad to be able to do that for several years. I had some great wins with that and had was pretty fulfilled with it. But I always knew I wanted to own my own company. And although I was doing that kind of, it, I didn't really feel like it was a tangible product or service. Um, that was just my mindset at the time. I know it is, I knew it was, but I wanted to do something more consumer-based. So in 2009, I experienced um, having a two-year-old and being pregnant and receiving all these invitations to different social or professional events, but having a conundrum. I didn't really have a lot of um, available care for my child, so I either had to decline the invitations or take him and half the time I was in, at the event with him I'd have to leave the room because he'd become antsy and restless and be a two-year-old and so that was that became a frustrating thing and unsustainable um, I knew I wasn't the only one experiencing that though and so the problem solver I am I realized this is a problem to solve what do I need to do what can I um, do to solve this issue uh, Drop-in centers came to mind immediately. That was something I experienced as a child and I enjoyed. So I decided, let's go that route. And when I did the research into it, it didn't feel right. I didn't have the capital. I didn't know how to go about getting the capital for it. And I still decided I, this would be a great idea, especially for this transient town. I realized I can get started, I can be nimble, do the minimum viable product and see how that goes. And that was me going into a event venue and bringing the activities for those kids. And I thought that was a grand original idea, but then I did the research and saw this is a very popular business model in the UK and in parts of Africa and just everywhere, everywhere else outside of the US. It is, it is something that existed in the US at the time but it was very fragmented. Different people across the country were doing it. I actually spoke to an, a person doing it in Texas and she was, she was helpful and giving me information on how to get started. And so I decided that was the route I was gonna go. And Fun Spaces was founded in 2010. So my first tip to you is to do your market research. Look into companies that uh, are providing that service already or may not be serving the customers that you want to serve in the way that you serve them. Those are also people who are competitors. Look into that and get a feel for um, what already exists in their service offerings, what doesn't exist, um, how you can strengthen the way those customers are served. And I guess it's also important to understand who you want to serve, what kind of customer, um, what does that demographic look like? There's a lot that goes into it, but it's something that you can definitely do. You should take your time doing. And spoiler alert, if there are a lot of people doing it, that's a good business idea. That shows that there are people out there paying for it. Um, you can see Burger King, McDonald's, Cookout, all kinds of places on one block and realize they're all serving burgers, maybe in different ways, and some of them not so different. And they're usually on, one, on the same block. So if they can do it, it's a possibility that you could too. Not necessarily in that market, but you get what I'm saying. I will say since 2010, I've made my share of mistakes as an entrepreneur. I've also had some good wins and successes. Um, and then I've also evolved. The vision has evolved. I've shared a little bit about that before. Um, mission is still the same, vision is the same, but it's, I'd say it's streamlined to say play for it all. At the end of the day, Fun Spaces is here to help everyone play, whether you're an adult or a child. And 
from there, I have increased the way that I serve customers. We have an online play store now where we share toys and different play supplies so that adults and families can play. Um, I shared before, I'm working on a book series that will have different play ideas that is um, inspired by a book I, I wrote before a few years ago to support the marketing of this company. But now I'm going to do a series and publish it on, on Amazon to, again, to support the marketing of the company, but also to support the mission of the company to help people play. From my mistakes, I'm sharing two more tips for you as you grow your business or start a new business. Number one, schedule your time. Create appointments in your calendar dedicated to your business. That was something that I should have done in the beginning. And you will find that you can do it in the beginning. It might just be a few hours. And as you get more successful or you gain more revenue, you can dedicate more time to it. And as you gain more revenue where you can outsource some of your activity, you can reduce your time in your business. But ultimately, schedule it so that you're working on the business and you're focused on that. Tip number three, tell everybody. Once you are committed, and I mean committed to this new business or company or way of creating income for yourself, share that with the world. Um, you may experience people who don't understand, who don't believe you, may even disrespect, or even try to copy you. But to that, they may inadvertently help you. You never know what kind of resources they can attract for you, business or staff they can attract to help you, or even investment. I have received most of my business from word of mouth, and that's only because they knew that I did this. But I can also say a lot of people still don't know that fun spaces exist, and I need to do a better job with sharing, which is why I'm doing this video series. So my thoughts for you are, if you are playing with entrepreneurship, um, you're trying to figure out if that's a route for you, whether you're working or not, uh, a, a job, a part-time or full-time job, definitely explore it. And if you decide this really isn't for me, yeah, all my friends want to be entrepreneurs, but I'm not really interested, then own that and go about your business. But if this is something that you have talents that you want to share, you're very passionate about something, uh, whether you want to see a change happen or um, you just see a, a market need, definitely go for it. Research the opportunity. Schedule the time and tell everybody once you've decided this is exactly what I want to do. Bonus tip, and it's for those people who know they want to go into business but don't know how, don't know what. I was there, right? I knew I wanted to be an entrepreneur, but I had no idea what I wanted to do. I say to you, think about what you enjoyed as a child, or think about those things that you want to change. Either when you were younger, you wanted to change that really upset you, or now, um, things that you don't, you just don't see being served or served well, and you know you can do it better. Consider journaling and really understanding that about yourself. Um, that was something that helped me, and I know that it could help anyone else. My company now is it's certified as a living wage company locally, and then we also give back to community causes with our profit. And I've created something that I, will, I love working for and love sharing with others and love providing the service to help parents be able to relax and play, and then also serve those kids well as well. So this is what I have to give for you today, and I hope if there's anything that you need from me, I'm here for you. I can help you through those different tips and processes as well. I have um, a curriculum that I actually created, and I'll share more about that next week. Um, if you really are interested, let me know. Yolanda at yolandanicole.com or just look at yolandanicole.com for more tips and things that I've written in the past. Have a great day.